Pull up. Pull up. Ooh. All right. Let's run this. I should do a little backtracking because I missed out on an opportunity to receive like a couple of tonics. More than just a couple actually. Who's that blonde guy? You see, that's why you gotta read some walkthroughs when you play this game. I mean, you could pretty much get through this game without the need of a walkthrough. However, if you're a completionist like I am, then best believe we gotta get this. Nice. South side. All right. Got a bit ahead of myself. All right, to the right. That confirm button. Don't love no one. This game does a really good job of making me wish I was a PC user. I mean, it's computer. I would have to be a lot better at using computers, and I would have to make sure none of my family members ever touch it. But other than that, it's all good. It's not like I let them touch my shit anyway. Knowing how disastrous the results will be. Anyway. I'm almost... You see, that's our next boss right there. Nice. Nice. Whack. I should go harder than a mofo, man. Is this a dead end? Let me see. In a room across the left side. Okay, that was just a deliberate dead end. Monster is guarding this, I think. Potion. Okay, and we should give this to... Galoof. Hell to the yes, man.
I'm just spamming the attack button. Now he has 250 HP, so we're pretty much taking 10% of his health off per character anyway. Oh, that's not good. Attack when its wings are closed, and it will respond with its claws. It will counter with its claws, you mean. I'll heal anyone under 30 in HP. Hell, I might heal up, uh... No, you should be defending. Why are you drawing out the inevitable? I hate this shit. Okay, we actually do take... A items when we just pass it when you just use take all that's good preemptive attack this is awesome On lower right hand corner, I see like a treasure chest. I don't know about all that. Yeah, there's a chest that contains a staff in here. Yep, we came here a bit too late. See, mode 7 to the rescue, or mode 4. That was a crystal as it originally was. The spirit of fire. The spirit of water. So you got courage, kindness. Hope. Pursuit. Pursuit sounds like a lame ass name. I don't know, maybe the title is Lost in Translation. Yes. Fodder? Listen well. You are the chosen warriors, the four who hold spirits. Fodder, what do you mean? The wind crystal has shattered, and it seems as though the other three crystals will as well. You must protect them, an evil spirit is about to return. One that will plunge all into darkness. Fodder. Go. Chosen warriors, protect the crystals. Fodder! Yeah, you know, like, uh. I'm not gonna yell. I torture these people that way. I take them. Night Black Belt, Blue Mage Thief, Black Mage, White Mage. Yeah, they're lending us that uh, power, man. Let's talk later. We need to get the hell out of here. I said, 
I said it that way because ad libs, improvisation, Mina. If I remember correctly, there should be a warp gate outside behind the altar. I don't care. There's a chest around here in the right hand corner. Okay. That's how you get the staff. You see how in preemptive attacks, ATB for us turns full? That's why I like it. I mean, it's obvious, but still. For those of you who are watching this that know nothing about JRPGs, I'm just going to hold your hand. Man, I smell crusty as hell. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Got like a mini whirlpool with green ass light. Yeah, I don't trust that. I would never like warp back there. I would just walk all the way back. It's not like this was a particularly long dungeon. Okay, explain to us the job system. Humorous, because this is a let's play and any neat little package like that I would want to showcase. The warriors chosen by the crystals gain the powers of the ancient heroes that west rest within them. And thus, they are granted jobs. And so we got all that to choose from. By using a job, each of the four warriors can gain special skills of that job. We call these we call abilities. <clears throat> when you select a job or any abilities, your equipment will, for a moment, be removed. Don't worry. It will automatically be re-equipped with optimal equipment. <clears throat> By combining your jobs and abilities skillfully, you can create new types of characters. You can make a black mage that can jump, or a knight that will use white magic, like a paladin. As an example, let's create a white knight that uses white magic. I mean, a knight that uses white. I did use the term white knight. It had to happen sooner or later in one of these Let's Plays. First, select the white mage for a character's job. Mm. Then, as you can gain ability points ABP in battle, you will eventually earn the White Mage's ability, White. Next, change the character's job to Knight. Then, select a White from the Ability menu. Select Equipment for your Knight. And now you have a Knight that uses White Magic. Earlier this year, uh, Treble had a Let's Play of this game. Except he had the, he had one where he was only stuck using four job classes, it's the four job fiesta. And that was like some charity hack for a let's play. That shit was off the chain because he actually managed to defeat one of the super bosses just using the warrior thief. White mage, black mage formation. You know, the classic shit. Okay, this is time. I don't know what to make each of these guys. Sooner or later, I would want them to meet at a certain point. But 
that's not for now. The session ends today. This has been Mr. Wonka 7 and full up. I was going to hit you with the SMD or the Respect the King, but now I'm just going to hit you with the regular stuff.